Hey everyone, welcome back to Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Mediterranean pumpkin soup. It's so warm and soothing, it's great any time of year. You can use fresh pumpkin or canned pumpkin, either one, whatever you find available. It's so wonderful and it's so warming. Well, you can get this recipe and all of my other recipes on my website at ddmed.com. And while you're there, you can join all my different social networks so you can talk with other people about other recipes and my recipes that you like. So we're going to go over the ingredients and then I'm going to show you how to put everything together. I love pumpkin soup because it's made with all these great fresh ingredients. We have some chopped celery, some chopped carrots some chopped onions. Uh, I'm going to use uh, dried potatoes as a thickener. You can use fresh um, whole boiled potatoes as well. Um, I have some turmeric, some uh, nutmeg, some ginger, cinnamon, coriander, cumin, sugar. I have a chicken bouillon. If you want, you can use veggie bouillon if you want to keep this vegetarian. I have some toasted sunflower seeds and sage. I also have the cooked pumpkin and some water and we're going to show you how to cook it all. Now I just want to tell you a little bit about pumpkin. You can use fresh pumpkin or you can use a canned pumpkin. If fresh pumpkin is in season, definitely use it. I like using uh, the sugar pumpkin. Um, I get them from the grocery store and what I do is I cut it in half, I take out all of the seeds and then I cook it cut side down on a baking sheet Cover it with aluminum foil. You want to cook it for about 45 minutes until the pumpkin is very tender. After it's tender, then you can use it to make cookies, pie, soup, I and mean, whatever you can think of. Pumpkin is so versatile and it has that great sweet flavor. So um, let's get this ready and I'm going to show you how to uh, combine everything to make a really sweet cream. I have a nice big uh, cooking pot. To this I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons of olive oil so we can saute uh, the vegetables. I'm going to add the onions, the carrots, the celery, and the sage. I love sage. It adds such a nice flavor. Um, it reminds me of Thanksgiving whenever I smell it. And it's a, a very unique herb. We're going to saute these off for about five minutes and then we're going to add um, some water and our um, chicken bouillon. Now remember, if you want to keep this vegetarian, you can definitely um, just use a veggie bouillon um, instead and later on we're going to be adding some cream, but if you want to keep this vegan, you don't have to add cream. You can just uh, serve the pumpkin soup uh, the way it is. Let this smooth. cook for five minutes. I'm going to add two cups of water, two or three cups of water. And then we're going to add the bouillon and I'm going to let this cook for 15 minutes so that the vegetables get tender. Just like that. Put it on medium heat and just let them cook. Okay, so my vegetables are done cooking. Look at that. And I, now we need to uh, blend all the ingredients. Now, if you have a hand blender, that's amazing. Keep everything in the pot, add the pumpkin to the pot, and blend it that way. I broke mine yesterday, and I didn't have time to get another one. So, I'm going to use my food processor to blend up all the ingredients. Anything that can get the texture really smooth will work. So, I'm going to, um, to uh, core out my pumpkin. I, I, I took out some of the excess fiber, just like that. And look how, look how easy this is. You just get a spoon and look how it pulls away from the edges. I mean, it's so easy to make fresh pumpkin. Why not? I'm going to add this to my food processor. Oops, just like that. You can make this um, a day or two in advance if you're going to have like a dinner party or something and it'll stay good. I make it and I eat it for a week at a time because I love this soup so much. I get the 
other one. See how there's a little bit of fiber left? Those little, that hold the seeds together. I just like to take those out. Just like that. I'm going to do the other one. And I like sugar pumpkins because they're a little bit sweeter um, than the regular big pumpkins. Um, pumpkin chips should be a little bit sweet. You could also use uh, butternut squash for this recipe. If you can't find pumpkin or you want to use fresh ingredients and if you can find butternut squash, then use it. So we empty the pumpkin in here, just like that. I'm going to add some of our blended vegetables, like that. And I'm going to blend it up and slowly add them until it's all gone. Okay, so all of our ingredients are very smooth and well blended now. I'll show you this. Look at that. See? This is actually even good um, as baby food. So you can just uh, omit the uh, chicken bouillon, use chicken broth instead. And this would make great baby food. Yeah, and if you do have um, chicken broth lying around, definitely use that instead of the bouillon. Like I always say, pressure is better. So whatever you can use that's fresh, use it. Let's get all this off of here. We're going to put this um, back on medium-high heat. I'm going to add um, about a cup and a half more of uh, water or broth. And we're going to add all of our spices, and then we're going to bring it to a small uh, simmer, and we're going to add our cream at the last step. So just like this, it's really nice and smooth now. I just want to show you, look at that. So here's Back our together. soup. We're going to add some more liquid to thin it out. like that. Very nice stir. Very nice and smooth. You could smell all of the vegetables. Now the potato you can use if you're gonna if you have boiled potatoes blend it up with the vegetables uh, in the processor. If you're gonna use the potato flakes you see that your soup needs to be thickened, that's when you use it. It's not necessary um, to use it otherwise. I'm going to add the ginger, nutmeg, and turmeric. I'm going to add uh, two tablespoons of sugar. My husband loves pumpkin soup sweet. I'm going to add the cumin and the coriander. Give it a nice stir. Last but not least, the cinnamon. And just let it cook for about 10 minutes before we add our cream to it. You want all the flavors to develop nice together, nice smooth consistency. And you can definitely taste it um, for the salt content. If you feel that it needs a little bit more salt, you can add a little bit more salt. Usually the broth is um, seasoned with the salt, but again, it's up to you if you want to add more salt at this point. So just let this cook uh, for uh, a now couple Now there's a minutes. store that I love to go to. Um, it's mainly on the West Coast, but I know on the East Coast there's Whole Foods. Well, on the West Coast we have a store called Trader Joe's. It has all fresh, organic vegetables. They are amazing. I love their cheeses and their milk. They're actually a lot cheaper than the regular grocery stores. And a lot of their milk products um, are not treated with hormones, which is amazing because you don't want to feed that, you know, to your kids, especially when they're developing and growing. And even for yourself, you know, the, the less hormones, the less uh, not unnatural products that you put in your body, the better. So that's the cream that I'm using. And I'm going to add just a little bit of potato flakes. Just a little bit. I want it just a tad thicker. And see, they just melt right in. 
and they are like an instant thickener. Instead of using cornstarch, use some potatoes. They both have starch. I just feel potatoes, you know, are sticking with the vegetable theme. So we're going to stir this up. I'm going to add about a cup of cream. Now at this point, if you want to keep it vegan um, and use the vegetable broth and not use any cream, that's great. It is great as it is. But just to add another little kick, I'm going to add about a cup of cream. And it makes it nice and smooth and creamy. I'm going to let this cook for another uh, three to four minutes and then we're going to plate it up. So I like serving my soups with some croutons. I had some bread in the freezer that my husband did not like. He thought it was too tough. So what I did um, was cut it up into nice thin pieces. I drizzled some olive oil on it, some garlic powder, salt, and black pepper, and I toasted it in the oven on a baking sheet just for about 10 minutes. And they're amazing with soup. You can serve it with any kind of soup that you like. My husband can be a little bit picky sometimes. But it's okay. It makes me um, more easier to compromise to make things that he likes. You want to get a nice round bowl, something flat, so you can make a nice presentation out of it. This smells so good. I cannot wait to have some of this. It's nice to serve and have a nice movie to watch while you're eating this. You can even put it in those nice big cups. But we're going to clean that off. Put a couple croutons. And you can use um, toasted pumpkin seeds or toasted sunflower seeds. You can use toasted um, sesame seeds. I like it because it just gives it a little bit of a crunch. So just put that on top, just like that. And there you go. Nice Mediterranean pumpkin soup with all the great seasoning and flavors. You're going to love it. Give it a try. And join me again for Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen.